Charlie Bird is a well-known Irish journalist and news broadcaster. So it's not all that easy to get out of here. As the iconic reporter who brought the news from home and abroad to a whole generation of Irish viewers, Charlie's voice holds one of the most beloved and recognisable places in Irish family lives. Hopefully I will be in front of a microphone and a camera sometime, whenever. The journalist was on the way to conducting an interview for a podcast series he had been working on when he first noticed he was having trouble with his voice and shortly after he was diagnosed with motor neuron disease or MND and unfortunately Charlie began to rapidly lose his voice. I know I'm in a fight and I'm doing my best to deal with all of these issues as strongly as I can. I know I have a terminal illness, but I am the wall run. My voice is growing. I may not have it very much longer, but my wife there will do the talking for me. Charlie learned about us through our work for Roshin, who is a Dublin mother of three with MND. We had just recently joined RTE's Big Life Fix to develop a life transforming technology that would allow Roshin to communicate with a digital version of her own voice. So Charlie got in touch with us and we soon started working together to keep his trademark voice and, and help him communicate easily and authentically. In Charlie's case, we were very fortunate to have access to a huge database of voice recordings because of his career, which is really important to, to generate a realistic voice. So we fed all his data into a machine learning algorithm and through a process of iteration, we generated his digital voice. Hi, I'm from my Hi everyone, hold on to your hats. Tomorrow we will be posting Westlife's amazing message of support for Clang with Charlie. Hi, I'm Charlie Bird. Last October I was diagnosed with the terminal illness motor neuron disease. So on Saturday, April 2nd, I will climb Crow Patrick in aid of the Irish Motor Neuron Disease Association and Pieta. He was stunned. Um, other people couldn't believe that this wasn't something that Charlie had recorded himself. We want to make this technology accessible for as many people as possible and our hope is that we can soon secure the funding to do so.